Hi, I'm Tim from AutoZone. We're out here in the garage instead of at the store. And it's important to understand how to dispose of used motor oil responsibly and recycle. Now we all know recycling is the best choice for the world, your family, animals, and many other reasons. It does make a massive difference. So let's go over why you should recycle your motor oil. The process of recycling used motor oil is actually pretty simple. So let's go underneath the car and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so now we're underneath the vehicle and one of the keys for your oil change is making sure that you contain all of the oil as you do your oil change. So we have a plastic drop cloth down, we've got our oil container here and we're gonna go ahead and loosen the oil drain plug and get the oil started. When this plug is about ready to come out, you wanna get your hand out of the way. Now we've got the oil draining and we're gonna go ahead and let that drain and we're gonna move over to the filter here next. Okay, so we've had the oil draining here. In this case, we've got a smaller pan and the filter's a little more out of the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back in now that the oil's done draining and then move over here to the filter. You put that plug back in, make sure you clean it really good. Get your plug reinserted. Do not over tighten that drain plug. And now we're ready to move over here to the filter. The filter's right here. Uh, we've got a pair of oil filter pliers. We're gonna go ahead and crack this loose. Remember righty tighty lefty loosey. So now that we've got this cracked loose, you'll notice that the oil is draining right on the frame here, but we've got the pan underneath it to collect all the oil. It's good to let it drain for just a second before you fully remove it. Once you do, just keep spinning out, be ready to catch it, and then flip that over directly into the pan. If you want that filter to drain. Now you can punch a hole in it if you need to with some filters, but usually just flipping it over in the pan and letting it sit like that, you'll be able to get it completely drained. All right, so we're done. We've got our used oil up here. And you may need to transfer your oil from your drip pan or other container into a storage and transportation container. It's important to select one that's gonna be appropriate. Don't use milk cartons, empty juice containers, or other random containers you may have laying around your house like these here. If you happen to have the original container that your oil came in, just like this one over here, you can use that. Otherwise, you'll wanna use something made of polyethylene or other plastic deemed suitable for the purpose. Also, some oil pans are made so that they can be sealed and closed. These pans make it easy to contain and transport used oil, just like this one here. Make sure that your storage container has never been used to store other fluids at any point, even if it was a long time ago. Motor oil that's been mixed with other fluids, either accidentally or purposely, isn't recyclable. So take care not to let yours mingle with other things like washer fluid, gasoline, or any other fluid, water included. Once your used oil has been properly contained, Keep your container in a place that's cool, stays dry, where it's not gonna be disturbed before you have a chance to hand it off to a recycling facility or the AutoZone that's nearest to you. Depending on where you live, you may be able to recycle your used motor oil at your city's curbside recycling program, but keep in mind that nearly every AutoZone location is gladly gonna recycle your oil for you. There are many reasons why you'd wanna recycle, but the environmental impact on used motor oil out there is probably the biggest. Also keep in mind that you may be fined, face jail time, or be held responsible for any cleanup costs that associate with oil. Remember, AutoZone stores accept used motor oil, also accept oil filters, as well as other sensitive recyclables like batteries. Get in touch with your friendly neighborhood AutoZone location, and don't forget when you're done dropping off that used oil, you can pick up all your new oil change supplies while you're there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below, and we'll see you next time.